Okay, so eight years later, suddenly now, we have we have the DOE almost like magic, uh, uh, defining a mere three million point two gallons of this waste um, as being ready to go to WHIP and WHIP being a preferred alternative for it. First thing to remember is they'd previously said the opposite. Right. In fact, they had specifically said in after the draft of this environmental impact statement right. that discussed the alternatives, they had explicitly said WHIP was not considered. They weren't going to send any of this to really? WHIP. So they, they, said that, they said that in writing, wow. in the Federal Register. They said, so for the, that was in 2009, so, it, okay. so people have said, okay, that's not an option. We don't need to worry about that anymore. So the reason that DOE had to reverse themselves is because they'd said no, so now they've had to reverse themselves and say, oh, well, hmm, guess what? We were changing our mind. So they, they want to think that, again, this is the idea that we can divert people's attention. The, the waste in these tanks, these so up to 20 tanks that they think have these 3 million gallons that they could ship to whip, is less than 6% of the total amount that's there. Yeah. So it doesn't solve the problem. As I say, they themselves had said they were going to handle it the same way they're going to handle the other 50 million plus gallons. Right. And so, again, this is part of this issue of can we say we're going to send it to some place? And New Mexico and Governor Richardson said no eight years ago, but maybe they'll forget about it. Maybe things are dip maybe the politics of New Mexico are different, and we can send it. Maybe people will forget, and so they'll they'll try to do it again. It won't work as, as a technical matter. It won't work as a legal matter. It won't work, and as a practical matter, it won't work. It won't work as a technical matter because this is much more radioactive right. than the stuff that comes to WIP. So therefore, that that creates a real problem. And so in theory, they haven't clearly said this because, of course, their environmental impact statement didn't go into changing the stuff so it could come to WIP. But right. in theory, if they were going to do that, they, were, they would do a process of stripping out the cesium and the strontium from this waste to make it less radioactive before they would ship it to WIP. But technically, they've never done that. Uh -huh. So that's that's not what they were going to do. The idea is to put it into glass, right, right, to the facility, and, and vitrify it. Um, so they haven't done what they in presumably technically would have to do for WIP. So again, that's an additional cost, additional delay, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. We've discussed they can't do it legally because it's against the law. And as a practical matter, it doesn't work either. It's not just that WIP isn't legally allowed to take high-level waste. It really can't handle that kind of higher radioactive material. Okay, let me ask you about this.